Hey, what's up guys? Liberty Fisherman here once again, and I got another Tackle Warehouse order video for you. Man, we're just pumping them out back to back. It was just a week or two ago that I brought you the last one, and it received really well. People really liked it. They enjoy watching these, and I think they're good to watch, you know, for entertainment purposes, but also, you know, to know what people are buying. What are the good baits? You know, what are the baits people are buying right now? You know, stuff like that. The color is good. You know, a lot of people get on this YouTube. They want to know what colors to be using. These are the types of videos you can learn that. So let's go ahead and get into ours. I'm doing a little something different today. And I've actually unpackaged all the lures that I've bought. Just one, if they're soft plastic type stuff, I unpacked one of them out. That way, you know, I can show you the package. I can tell you the color. And then I can actually show you and pick them out. See, so I've got them all laid out here. And boom, I can show you the tail. I can show you what I need to show you. So let's go ahead and get into it first to start it off. Uh, I've got a few things on back order, and I'll probably incorporate that in the next, you know, video I do with Tackle Warehouse or whatever the case may be because it's only like one or two items. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. But this right here is uh, some protecting gloves, and they're really thin. They're really thin. I think they're made out of like some type of neoprene type stuff. Really thin. They should fit against your skin really well. And I'm going to do some videos on this type of stuff because, man, last last fall and through the winter, I didn't do that much fishing. And, I, you know, your, your, your skin gets a little more pale. And what ends up happening is when you go out there the next spring, boom, you're going to get sunburned. And, and, and especially the back of your neck is just a terrible place to get burnt, man. It just, it's bad. And you have to deal with it all day. And... And I, I, I had enough of it. And it's it's good to protect your skin anyway. You won't get burnt using this type of material. And I really think as far as keeping cool, you'll think, man, I'm going to be hot and stuff like this. I really don't think that's the case. I think it's going to actually keep you cooler. And you can also get them wet and wear them like a wet wrist, wristband or a neck band. You know, and I, I've got another, I got a couple other things similar to this that are on back order. And I've got a few things that I'm going to buy at Tackle Warehouse, or at, not at Tackle Warehouse, but at Bass Pro coming within the next week. So these right here, the gloves and the fingers, you can, um, you can, uh, they don't, they're not going to go up all the way on your fingers. And I'm going to do some videos with these because I think, you know, this is something more people should get into. If you're going fishing, you know, more than a couple times a week, man, protect your skin. Don't get skin cancer or any of that kind of bad stuff. Getting burnt's bad enough. So this Sim stuff, this is the uh, sun glove in stone color, um, large slash extra large. I'm thinking these will be plenty. I know they'll be plenty big. I can feel that they'll be plenty. Uh, hopefully they're not too much because if they are too much, then they're going to be too big on me and they're going to get in my way. So hopefully they won't be too big. And I should have unpacked the shirt, but I didn't. Um, but this is just a nice uh, blue shirt from them. It's got a really cool design on it. I can't show all of it, unfortunately. I should have unpacked it, but you know, it's just a shirt. Um, and you get that free with a, like a $150 order or something like that. And then here, I've got the Ultracast Floor Braid. It's something new I'm going to be experimenting with. Man, I've used braid on my spinning reels and stuff for a while, but this is Fluoro Braid. This is something kind of new to me. Yeah, I don't think it's that new to the market, but this is 15 pound, 300 yards of uh, spider wire Ultracast Fluoro Braid. And it sinks like fluorocarbon. It's got all the properties of braid and fluorocarbon that you want. The fluorocarbon, it sinks. What that's going to do for you... It's going to give you a little bit more sensitivity, but it's going to give you a better hook set. It's going to give you a better feel, you know, especially if you're making those longer casts and you're fishing, you know, those steeper banks, you know, or you're fishing offshore, you know, you know, if you're making long cast fishing, even, even really 12 to 20 plus feet of water, unless you're dropping straight under the boat. Like I said, the key word is making those long casts in that, you know, 20, 15 to 20 plus feet of water. Having that braid that floats, you don't get near the feel, and uh, I want to know what my lure is doing as much as I can. So this really helps you um, with that. It's, you're going to get a better hook set. It, it has all the properties, though. No Near zero or stretch at the very least. It's in moss green. Uh, and, uh, man, I can't wait to use this on my spinner reels. 15-pound test. So 4-pound test diameter of monofilament. So it's got that small diameter still. It's going to be good stuff. The only questions I have is... Is it going to fade? Is the color going to fade? Is the knot strength going to be there? You know, we'll see. I'm going to be doing some videos on that if you guys would like. And then, this, this for this order, I really wanted to do a lot of frog type stuff. I got a discount from these guys for the, like, Facebook fan page type deal. I got 10% off on most everything in stock. So, I wanted to stock up on some frogs and uh, for this year because I'm going to do a lot of frog fishing this year. So, this one right here, Dean Rojas, Bronze Eye Frog, 65 and I got it in a color killer gill. So let me pull this one out. 
killer deal. Here's the color. Isn't that deadly? I think it is better bringing the bringing the bait out. It might take just a few seconds longer for each one. But I think you guys are really going to appreciate it. The black and blue rubber legs there. Awesome, awesome color. Awesome bait too. But the reason I'm buying a lot of these frogs is because not only do I use them a lot, but also I want to try several different brands. Um, and this one right here is the same thing. Spro Bonsai Frog 65, which is the bigger size, in watermelon red. So let me pull that one out. Boom, water, watermelon red. And that is one cool color. Really cool. It's got like a clear, it's really, really good for the clear water. Or even a little bit stained water in the brighter days, you know, open water frogging around bushes and, and shady banks and stuff like that. Seawalls, deadly, deadly. Going to be killer. It's going to catch a ton of them for me. That's all I got to say about it. It's going to be an awesome bait. And then right here, something, it's a new brand of frog, the Jack All Iobi frog, two and a half inch, half ounce uh, weight that it weighs overall. And here it is. It's called the, uh, what color? I think it's, I know it's a bluegill. It's actually, yeah, it's actually called bluegill. That color is. And you see there, you see the ru rubber legs on it. And then you can see the design of the frog. It's got kind of a hunchback. Seems to have pretty soft plastic. Better than the the Spro frog, and it, it it shrinks down good. I think you're going to get a good hook set with it. I can't wait to see how this thing works. I can't wait to see how it you know hooks fish and stuff like that. But there's the color, really neat color too. Awesome. I love my frogs, man. And then my KVD sexy frog. I got it in um, stump jumper, which is like a blue till bluegill type color. Stump thumper, and here's the color. Yeah, see, that's like a bluegill type color. It's gonna be a killer color, too. I mean, I just love frog fishing. There's not many colors that aren't killer, to be real honest with you. I say that about most colors because uh, I've had success from black and blue on a frog to red, black, and white to brown, straight black, straight white. All different in between. Spro Bronze Eye Frog 65 is the one we have here in Black Widow. Well, this is one of the colors that have produced a lot for me. The Black Widow color. Caught a lot of big bass, you know, four to six plus pounds on this thing. Throwing them around seawalls, even during the shad spawn, stuff like that. That black silhouette with a little bit of red gives it a little bit of color when it's going through the water. I, I, I can't be anything scientific. I just know that this one catches fish for me. And the black is a really good color for early morning. Really killer color, man. I've caught so many fish on that. And then I got another 65 bronze eye frog. And this one is um, Killer Gill. I just did that one, didn't I? Why did I throw that back in there? <laughs> but I got a Spro bronze eye frog, 65. And this is the clown color. Really, really another just a neat color, man. That bluegill type pattern with the orange and yellow slash, you know, their chartreuse is yellow. Um, legs and then look at this body of the frog I don't know if you can see through but you can even see through to the knot of the rubber legs isn't that neat it's got a really nice transition of colors mix of colors this could be good early in the morning especially with those brighter tails it could be good in early morning it could be good uh, in the middle of the afternoon you know fishing open water you know fishing shady banks overhanging trees may mayfly hatch different stuff like that the bluegill spawn uh, skipping under docks. I love frog fishing. You're going to see a lot of this from me this year. And the reason I got so many, and I'm going to be buying some more even, testing new brands. I'm going to bring these videos to you guys, which ones I like, which ones I don't, stuff like that. And then this right here is a Lunker Hunt Bento Baits. It's kind of like a soft plastic jerk bait. It's four and a half inches long and it's in the perch color. And they're pretty expensive. This whole pack is like seven or eight bucks and you only get five, I think. And here's the bait. Got a really nice subtle finesse type tail there. Really neat bait. Now the salt, it's pretty. It, it's actually not the soft plastic you would think. It's got a really nice hologram in the middle of it. It's real natural, um, but they will tear pretty easily, I'm sure. So you know these are only going to get pulled out when I really need them. To be real honest with you. Um, let's see. And then I got this bait here. I got two different colors of this. The El Grande Lures Boomerang. It's a six inch. 
soft plastic jerk bait. This one is in the uh, bubble gum type color, you know, pink and stuff like that. It's really good around the, you know, the the bass spawn. You can get up shallow and you can use this type of bait to cover water with. Floating worms, soft plastic jerk baits, just really good. You may not catch as many as you get bites. You might get a lot of people, a lot of fish following it and a lot of fish nipping at it, but you can throw it back in there with a shaky head or a drop shot or even a Texas rig and catch that fish. Really good search bait in the spring. And here's the bait. There, it's got a really nice tail. It's thick plastic. It's, it's a little bit bigger than the most soft plastic jerk baits you get. So uh, this thing, you can, I feel like you can cover a little more water with it, but you know, it's the first time I've fished this thing. I can't wait to get out on the water with it. Like I said, I got it in two colors, and I got it in just regular green pumpkin. All right, and then here, the Bill Simmontel BBZ-1 Baby Shad. Two and a half inch bait. You can check it next to my thumb. This color right here is natural shad, and then I got it in another color, the uh, blueback herring. Actually, the top one is blueback herring, and the bottom is natural shad. Um... You know, these are going to be interesting baits. You can use. They're hat. They're a quarter ounce. They're sinking, and you can you can throw these out here one at a time. But the way I'm going to fish it, I'm going to fish it on on a double rig like uh, the Bill Simatel has uh, you know instructed on his YouTube channel and stuff. It's going to be real interesting to fish. Kind of expensive baits, but you know a lot of these baits aren't going to sink if you use good line. You shouldn't be breaking them off. Hopefully, I got a story about that on my twenty dollar BBZ one that I lost. I had to get a replacement here. I bought the BBZ-1 Junior 6-inch swim bait from Spro, and I got it in blueback herring color. It's a 2-ounce swim bait, and I like it a lot, man. It works It works really well. I've caught some fish on it on Lanier. Caught my first swim bait ever, fish ever. I'll probably put that video, at, at that, that picture at the end. Um, but towards the end of the day when I was casting, I did not tie, I did not retie, and when I went out there and casted, $20 lure just went free flying, and we trolled for about 5 or 10 minutes just hoping that we were going to find it, but I knew we weren't going to, but I got a new one, and I'm going to make sure I retie from now on. This is a blueback herring color, and this is a really good imitation of a blueback, man. People think, okay, it's blueback, it's got, it must have a blue back. No, the blue actually have more of an olive green type back. And a lot of the really good lure designers, custom painters, they know that. They don't put a blue back. It actually has an olive green type back. It's going to be a good bait. It's going to catch. I think it's going to catch more fish for me than the sexy lavender shad like I had in the previous video. So, if you guys enjoyed this, if you've made it this far, almost 13 minutes, leave a like. I've got some videos I'm working on for you guys. Update video, I'm going to be working on that tonight. I'm going to get that out here within the next couple days. I'm also going to have a bio video, just talking about me, getting to know me, what my future plans are you know and my past plans how 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 I got to where I am in fishing and you know you know different things like that um I want to bring it out to you guys I think you'd like it so hope you do I hope you enjoy it I'll be bringing those to you within the next week both of those um and that that's it if you enjoyed I'm gonna leave a annotation or something for the previous tackle warehouse video which was just like a week or two ago so if you're new and haven't seen that check it out and if you haven't if you just want to watch it for the second time go ahead and do it Leave another like, another comment. Let me know. Show me some love. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm out of here. More videos to come. Ow! Hook myself. Talk to you later.